Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Unibytes. I'm your friend Amnon Shaktivel and this is part 10 of our Selenite J unit framework. Right in this video, uh, we will see how about how we can create reporting for our Selenite framework. Right. Uh, previously, I used to believe uh, creating beautiful reports uh, is, is very important. But after watching Selenite and some of the articles written by Andre, uh, who is the creator of the Selenite, I just changed my mind and, and also believed the amount of efforts that we put to create beautiful reports is, is not really worth it, right? Not many people even watch it. So I feel uh, the, the J unit report or the test engine report that we generate is more than enough, right? Um, it's very easy to generate as well. Um, but yeah, Selenite also supports text reports and it also has an integration with, uh, if you want to create a new reports, you can also do that. Uh, but we are going to only cover text report in this particular video, right? Uh, again, as I told, uh, again, creating an LU report is your wish, but I'm very happy with JUnit report and the text report. That's that's the most thing that I would expect, right? So we will see how we can do that. And if I go to even their uh, repository about uh, reporting, if you search Selenite reporting, so there's, there's a principle called Yogni. You aren't going to need it at all. So, so basically, whatever the error message that is coming from Selenite is more than enough for us to debug the failures. Um, but apart from that, we are going to generate a very simple text report like this. It's going to be very easy. If you are if you are someone who has to obey your uh, manager's orders, um, there's not much you can do. And then they are insisting for it. Um, you can you can go ahead and add this dependency allure and then just add one particular line to your code. And then it basically creates a report for you. But in our case, we're going to simply generate a text report, uh, right? So let's not waste a lot of time here. Uh, so we already have the test here. Uh, you can basically go to, if, if you're all your test cases are going to extend the same base class, I think I would suggest you to add extends, extend with annotation. Since I'm using JUnit 5, I'm using this and there is something called as uh, text report extension dot class. That's it. So even if you see their documentation, if you use JUnit 5, uh, just add this annotation. Right. If you are using JUnit 4, which you shouldn't be, uh, start using JUnit 5. Um, for test for test ng, obviously, you can add listeners to your things, right? Once you do that, uh, let's try to run it and then see uh, what's happening. So this text report uses a SLF4j. So uh, if you don't have it in your uh, look, even though I, I have it in the property section, but I, I have removed from the dependencies. So, you know, it should throw an error uh, stating, hey, you should add SLF4j to your class part. If you notice, it's very clear. And then they also have given a link. If you click here, uh, you just need to just copy this dependency and add it to your project. So, hey, that's what I'm going to do. Just copy this. And then let's uh, come here and paste it, right? Once you do that, um, I also have a property section where I want to use it. So I will remove this and use SLF 4G version. Like this way, uh, so you know all the dependencies at one shot. And if you want to change the dependencies, you don't have to scroll all the way up and down. You can just change it here, right? So that's a very easy thing to do. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's try to run the test again and see whether we are getting the text report. So now the tests have started um, and it's still saying, okay, maybe let, let me refresh my Maven dependencies. I think it shouldn't have downloaded that. Let's try to run it again. It's a, it's a very simple process. You just need to add one line of code and everything will be taken care of by uh, your uh, Selenite. So that's what we want, right? So I can guess if you want, if you want a Surefire report, JUnit reports, you know, you should always run it from Maven clean test which you know already, so I'm not covering that. I'm just uh, you know, running this from my ID. This time it should basically open the browser, do everything and log the reports. Again, the entire thought process is different guys. Whenever I, I, mean, I started my automation journey, I, I really thought, you know, I have to create beautiful reports all the time, but in reality, nobody cares about our reports. They don't even bother to look into our reports. So 
So it's, you know, I have tried external reports. I have used Allure. I have used Report Portal. I have used Elastic Locks, Elastic Search and the Kibana for storing my reports. And then I also have used Datadog in my opinion. But after all, trying out all these things, I, I came back to JUnit reports and this text report from Serenic. So, so that's, that's my whole journey. Like, you know, this is just based on my experience. You know, I prefer to use JUnit report and the text report. So yeah, now the test got passed and this is the test report that we are interested in. So it has element details, what action it did and how much time it took and what is the status? Is it the pass, the step was pass or a fail, right? So this is very clean, right? So yeah, this is how we generate a text report. I see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye-bye from Mumbai. Bye-bye, guys.